Alright everyone, we are back with more of the Pokemon Sun postgame. We are at Mount Lanakila, and previously we've captured Necrozma. And that was a very short video. I couldn't m find much else, but yeah. Now there's only one road that remains. We're heading back to the Pokemon League. What for? To take the Elite Four on in the rematches. After beating the Elite Four, you are allowed to challenge them again. However, this time, these guys will spare no expense. You may be a little elite champion. Yeah, maybe the champion, but our work isn't done. You still have a reputation. It's time for us to take on the Alola Elite Four with our new and improved team. Or manage. And like before, you can choose to take them on however you see fit, in any order you like. We're going to be going through it from left to right. Let's start with the first one. Old Hala is here to make you Hala. Go figure. Let's make this fun, shall we? Welcome, champion, to the Pokemon League, where strength is everything. Now, with love in our hearts, let us clash in Pokemon battle. Not wasting any time, are you? Yep, we're taking on the first, Elite Four Hala. All the Elite Four members are going to have five Pokemon on their team. Unlike previous post-game Elite Fours where they'll have six. I just can't understand why. But who am I to complain, honestly? Let's get this show started. Starting the fight off with a fake out, I see. That isn't going to stop us, plus my Alakazam has inner focus, which prevents flinching. And yes, I forgot to turn on the experience share, but does it really matter? No. And for the sake of this, I'm going to have it turned off for the entire trial. Plus, since this guy's packing all fighting types, this one's a joke. Yeah, goodbye, beware. We weren't that tough. I'm serious, since if you were prepared by this point, you've already gotten like even stronger Pokemon, then this fight would have been a breeze. Although to be fair, it makes me wish these Elite Four would take advantage of using Mega Stones and bringing out Mega Pokemon. Like, for example, Hala's got Lucario, he can just use it to Mega Evolve to Mega Lucario. And that would actually prove to be a better fight. Also, more variety in his teams. More variety would be very essential. Why do you think I'm making this look ridiculously easy? I could just take this guy down, like, fast! Yeah, there you go. He's got the last one. They're all gonna be around, like, level 63 or something. See? Goodbye! Took this guy down in under five minutes. See? I sense the strength that you possess as champion. And that is strength well deserved. A heart pounding battle like that always sends a shiver through my whole body. I'm sure my Pokemon felt it too. Now let us venture forth to the next one. That's one down, only three to go. Next up, the Rock Gym. Or rather, the Rock Lead for Olivia. Welcome to the Rock Chamber. Oh boy, 
This may prove to be a challenge. I won't be holding back. My rock-type Pokémon will grind you to dust. Your puny little Pokémon are gonna go down in one hit. Ha! You wish. She just won't hesitate. That's fine by me. Bring it on, Olivia! And she's starting to fight off with a relicanth. Alright, Alakazam, let's do this! Don't let us down here, please. Bring forth a psychic blast! It survived. Really, you think that's going to be impressive? You wish. Trying to make me drowsy? How about I send you psychic blasting? There you go. Good work, Alakazam, but sadly, you now fell asleep. And now it's gonna send out Lycanroc. Okay, Desudoi, let's show him what you can do! But still, my gripe on the Gen, Se Gen 7 Pokémon still stand. Why are they so dang slow? Seriously. Yeah, that Leaf Blade's gonna be a two-hit KO. Well, did not anticipate that. Here, eat this! Well done, Desidui! And this one's the Rock and Electric Golem, not the Rock and Ground. Yeah, you can tell because he has a mustache and a beard, as well as some sort of launcher. And plus, the damage it inflicts is a bit less than normal. Ooh, sliced by Stone Edge! I better heal it up quickly. Besides, I'm not gonna let it go down. I need it! For what's yet to come! And sliced again by Stone Edge. I got a better idea. I'm gonna cripple you instead with a good old-fashioned Feather Dance! Not so tough now, are you? Get him, Leaf Blade. And it hung on by a thread. Wait, Heavy Slam? Well, didn't expect that. At least now that golem went down hard. Well done, Desidui. Now it sends out Carbink. That Carbink's gonna be trouble for us. Or not, since it's pretty much a two-hit KO by this point. It's now stronger against physical attacks. And yes, that is a Pokemon Stadium 2 quote. Keep making these quotes all the time. What do you expect? I loved Pokemon Stadium 2 when it came out on the N64 back then. Good times. And now next up on the list is Probopass. This may prove to be trouble, but I gotta heal up quickly or else I'm in, I'm in danger. Yeah, this should heal you up fine. Oh dear, Power Gem. Fortunately, it's doing okay. Yeah, it's a rock and steel type, which means damage is going to be normalized. And now Reflect's going to still be up there, which means I can't do much. Fine, at least I can try my luck with this. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Good, the Reflect wore off. 
Now I can really dish out the pain. Ooh, hit by flash cannon. But it's not a favorable matchup, I'll give you that. And it does a flash cannon again, but will it survive? Yeah, it does. Let's finish the job. Good, Pro Pass bites the dust. Finally. Since you've become champion, both you and your Pokemon have a certain level of polish. You got that right. Ah, oh, jeez. That's a lot of dust that suffered from the Power Gems. Let's get you cleaned up. Very good. But we also have to take care of Alakazam as well. Come on, dude, wake up. You've had enough time for sleeping for one day. There you go. Feel better? Good. Now let's do this thing. We're already past the halfway point here. What a spectacular trainer you are. Now, when the children of Alola finish their island challenge, they can visit the Pokemon League to try to become the champion. The trainers of Alola will become even stronger. I have to agree, most definitely. Infor unfortunately, I gotta make sure you're healed up fast. Fine, I'll just give him a Moo Moo Milk. This should at least heal you up considerably. Giving them good drinks is helpful. Alright, so that's two down now, and let's move on to the third one. And you can pretty much guess who we're going to take on next. Her. Hiya! Acerola here, bringing an old world touch to the Pokemon League. A little kid becoming an Elite Four? Yeah, I didn't expect that. She seems way too happy for her own good. But all the more reason for a challenge. Hey, even if you are the champion, you can't go in the champion's chamber without proving you can still get past the Elite Four. And besides, Battling is just playing fun! Come on, I can take you! We'll see about that. Bring it on! Let's do this! And she starts off the fight with a Sableye! If she had a Mega Stone at least, she would make it a Mega Sableye that would prove to be very troublesome. Fine, let's do this. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, what's wrong? That's it? Really? How lame. There you go. Alakazam's now level 71. And now I'm about to send in the next Pokemon. Dalmise. Or is that how it's supposed to be called? Oh well, let's figure this out. Anyway, Magmortar, get in there and engage! I still can't get over the fact that it looks like a floating anchor! I just can't! It got a crit, but now it's unleashing the Earthquake. It hung by a thread, just as how Magmortar survived the Earthquake. It's basically a grass and ghost type, like Trevenant. See? Go down. 
And now it's gonna send out the next Pokemon, Palisand. Okie dokie, Decidueye. Let's show them what you got. I still can't get over the fact that it looks like a, a sandcastle. Well, whatever. Let's do it. Leaf Blade. And goodbye. I'm strong enough now to withstand anything that comes my way. And coming up next day is a Frost Slash. Magmortar, return to the battlefield. You are needed to take it down. Yeah, not a very unorthodox team, but whatever. We can do. It uses Shadow Ball. I forgot, this thing is fast. And it turned out to prove to be its undoing. Boo! You stink! No matter. Magnezone! Let's show what we got! Wait, where am I healing? Yeah, Magmortar, heal up. Well, that damage it. Oh no, the special stat is down! Fine, let's do it. Flash Cannon. It's fast! Hanging on by a thread, and it's now it's down to by two. Eat this! Go down, go down hard. Okay, so who's left? Driftlim. Oh, Driftlim may prove to be a problem. Especially since if it has Unburden, or maybe Aftermath in some cases. Yeah, this should heal you up considerably. And like before, it's also using Shadow Ball. Seriously? Oh no. Heck no. Heck no, because there's no way I'm going to withstand it. So, you know what? Magnazone return. Come forth, two cannon. Nice try. It's not going to work this time. Now let's make this effective. Beak Blast! Oh, I forgot. Driplin's also effective for another reason. It can pack electric attacks. Eat this. And let's finish this off with a good old-fashioned drill pack. Oh dear, Aftermath. Not cool. Whatever, you're done. I'm... I'm speechless! How did you do it again?! There you have it! Three down, one to go! Being in the Elite Four is fun, but so is being a captain. Hmm, I'm not sure which to do! Well, I guess as long as you do what you do best, I have no complaints. Now let's get everybody healed up and Alakazam at the bottom. And it's now pretty much at like level 71, when it's like one level forward, then... Yeah, I gotta push it back. But man, had my had I not switched, my Madden Zone would have bit the dust. And that would have sucked. Now we return to the lobby. Only one more remains and then we be begin the title defense. The title defense will be a separate video and will also serve as the post-game finale to this game. I may plan on covering the other title defenses, but you know how my schedule is. But I will do to the best of my abilities what I can. And now we have to contend with her. So here you are. Why don't we see who the wins favor today? You or me? It doesn't matter who they favor, as long as I get to kick your butt and prove my worth. I'm game. So let's do this thing, shall we? 
So you came to battle me again. If I beat you, the number one ranked trainer Lola, then I'll be ready to take on the world. I'm coming for you, Jose. Bring it, Kylie. What, you're trying to play golf? This is now time for golf. We're having a Pokemon battle. Let's see if you'll fare any better. Not wasting any time in bringing that out, huh? Magnezone! Show her how it means to feel zapped. Starting the fight off with a Night Slash, I say. That's not gonna help you. Zap! I forgot. Skarmory's are best known for one other reason. Sturdy. Which means Focus Sass is pretty much unreliable by that point. And now you decide to use a full restore? Just so you can be able to do it again? You know this is gonna end up being an encore performance, right? Yeah, pretty much. Here, I'll just finish you off with a flash cannon. What? Spikes? Why would you do that? It won't matter either way, because I'll just let Magnazone wipe you out completely. That would make it fair. Though had I had my charger bug, then it would really bring the pain. Oh, now brings out the two cannon. Though it could pretty much be a two cannon versus two cannon fight. Break, break. Ow. This high physical attack really hurt. But no, all good things go down no matter what. See? If that's it, I'm disappointed. Oh, goody, Crobat. Uh-oh, Shadow Ball. Special attack isn't that good but it's still gonna go down the very same way. Yeah, see that? Go down hard. And next up it sends out Mandibuzz. This may prove to be bad, but I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, use a soda pop to heal up. And it's using Snarl. Okay, maybe I was a bit smart about that. Oh my god, I think that's why. You're gonna try to cripple me, is that what you're doing? Not gonna work! Oh wait, it actually did. It's a two-hit KO. Though if it continues to keep using the same attack repeatedly, then it can be longer. And it hung on by a threat. Oh, glorious! This just made the fight a little bit harder. It's fine. I'm still gonna take it down all the same. Don't give up on me, Magazone. I still need ya. One way or the other. Oh, wow. And no paralysis. Oh, thank you. That's what I need right about now. Fun. You want to play unfair? I can play unfair too. Return, Magnazone. Let Gyarados have a little bit of fun. Yeah, now I'm gonna start wrecking ya! I'm bringing in my Gyarados in for good measure. And it heals up. So much for being fair. Eat this, Ice Fang. Good thing it died the Toxic. Cause if not, it would've been bad. Nice work. This is pretty much not going to help you one bit. Fine, I may as well boost my power up. Dragon Dance It! Oh, 
Oh, keep roosting. That's not going to help. Okay, let's do it. Aqua Tail. Oh, now the toxic kicks in. The poison will surely sap the strength. Oh, it's going to start slow, but then the poison will keep on going. And it goes down. All right, he expelled the poison, thankfully. And last but not least is an Oricorio. And it's the red one. I wonder if it also changes... Oh yeah, now it makes it a fire type. But you still go down easily. Lame. This fight's as good as done. This feeling of frustration that is swelling within me. I will use it to propel my growth. And there you have it. The Alola Elite Four have been beaten. That battle was worthy of being number one in Alola. Maybe even number one in the world. But next time I'll win. You'll see. Yeah, we will indeed. See you around. All that remains now is... Well, defending the title. But the question is, who are we going to face? That's what's going to happen in the post-game finale to Pokemon Sun. So I am going to end this here for the time being. And yeah, next part will be the last one where I will defend the title. And like I mentioned already in the beginning, I will be doing these title defenses when I can. And once all of them are done, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Pokemon Sun post-game. And if you did... Please be sure to hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys this time. Or rather, next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.